Hey guys, Lesko here. Hey, a quick note before this review for this one, I'm going to be doing it on a standard def TV instead of my usual high def because um, I've seen in the previous video, I'm in the middle of moving right now. I'm actually staying with my first my family, uh, helping with my uh, grandmother at her place, and um, I've got the HDTV in my kids' room where they're enjoying the Xbox. So for now, I'm going to be doing this review on a standard TV. With that said, let's check out Turbo Views Volume 2. And here are the uh, two Turbo Views box sets put together. As you can see, he has uh, kept the same format, both on the front and on the sides. There's no difference as a Volume 1, Volume 2. Um, I did do a pre-order, which uh, with the pre-order, it came with a little certificate here. Thank you for purchasing Turbo Views Volume 2. I got number 45 out of 76, which is a cool little bonus. And one thing that uh, Chris did, Mr. Abucci, which is really awesome, he accidentally sent out a mislabel. The third disc was labeled Volume 1 instead of Volume 2. I mean, really, it was no big deal. I didn't mind. But um, he went ahead and sent out... A uh, properly labeled third disc that said Volume 2. I actually told him, you know, don't worry about it. It's not worth the postage and everything. But he insisted on it. I think that he, you know, wants his stuff to be as perfect as he can, which is cool. But um, I did make one minor request to have him sign my third disc. I, it's just so cool that he uh, had sent this out. And it also came with a uh, small thank you letter. Um more or less saying that he was truly overwhelmed by the amazing response to the pre-order announcement as a special thank you. Each DVD is individually numbered. Um, also has uh, how he wants TurboViews to be a video or an online encyclopedia covering the TurboGrafx-16. says, in the end, there's going to be three volumes. And he also mentioned that he has a friend that works in the uh, DVD and graphic design industry. Says that whenever the series is done, he's going to create a box for the complete set, which should hold all six volumes and have artwork similar to TurboGrafx-16, and that they're wanting to create a glossy full-color booklet and a guide with uh, listings and reviews and you know facts about each game. Which I'll tell you what, that is a killer idea. I really hope it all comes to fruition. I mean, he's on a second uh, volume. That would mean that there are, uh, there's going to be four volumes after this. So I am really hoping that all that happens. But I do keep the original disc I got in here as well. I plan on getting like a slipcase to put in there. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But it's a, a three-disc set, similar to the uh, first. The artwork style is the same. They've changed the uh, color of the background. Uh, here's volume one to uh, compare. The artwork is almost exactly the same. It's just the, the uh, well, background coloring is different. Also, there are Easter eggs in uh, this one as well as the first one. The first one only had uh, three Easter eggs. The second volume has 11 Easter eggs, and uh, these you'll have to hunt a bit harder for. He's hidden some in some submenus and whatnot. I'm not going to give away the details or anything, but I'm just going to say that uh, they're, it's a really fun diversion just to be hunting for some Easter eggs. So I'm going to pop out disc two of this set, pop it in the DVD player, and that way you guys can uh, get a feel for it. Although I, I'll go ahead and mention right now that the menu system is almost identical to the uh, original, and there's nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, I like it. It keeps it uniform, and it uh, helps Mr. Bucci's goal of creating the... Uh, Turbo Views Online and DVD Encyclopedia. So uh, they have moved the Play All button to the front page, which that was my only complaint with the original DVD set. The Play All for uh, the first two discs were on the second menu page instead of the first menu page. He's moved it to the first menu page. So you know, I don't know if he actually listens to me on that or not, but... Uh, Thank you, if you did, and even if you didn't, I really, really like the move. It's just a lot easier to get to. So, we'll select a review, like uh, Devil's Crush, which is a killer pinball game in the Turbo Graphics. And it's up to where you can uh, play the review, as it was. You can uh, 
play just the uh, music from the game or a bonus commentary track, which has a memory commentary on it, just like the original. And uh, there might be an Easter egg or two if you look closely enough in the sub-menus. But uh, I'm not going to give away any of the uh, bonus material in this review, so we'll just hit play review. And uh, his review style, I really like. He always starts out with a uh, cover of the uh, game. Well, those of us who own the Turbo Graphics. And I don't know how he does his uh, graphical artwork and whatnot, the uh, little uh, effect that he does in the background. I do like the effect, though. A year later, the aliens were replaced with demons and. And uh, the visual quality is awesome. I mean, yeah, I'm doing this review on a standard def TV, but on a high def television, it looks great. A great design, and even more ways to get the high. And he goes really in the detail on it. I and mean, he shows pages from the manual. Creepy and just plain. He uh, goes over every aspect of the game. You know, music, gameplay controls, graphics, every little thing that you can come up with. He'll end up going over. Crank shooter in the manual called the Spring of Justice. So, um, if you are interested in picking up uh, Volume 2, or if you even maybe haven't checked the guy out and maybe want to check out Volume 1, his YouTube channel is uh, Spida, uh, not Spider, S P I D A 1A. And uh, there you can check out all the uh, TurboViews episodes. And if you're interested in purchasing the DVD, you can go to www.turboviews.com to uh, order 1, 2, or uh, they've got uh, volumes 1 and 2 in a bundle to save yourself a few bucks. So if you got a buddy that's maybe into the Turbo Graphics, you've already picked up Volume 1. Pick up the Devil Set and maybe give Volume 1 to a friend to see if you can get your buddy interested as well. Uh, overall, this is uh, some of the slickest, most professionally made DVDs I've ever seen. And quite frankly, it blows the DVDs to screw attack out of the water. I, in my opinion, the presentation on these are better than anything that screw attack is putting out. And that includes the Angry Video Game, their DVDs. While I do enjoy those DVDs, I believe that the uh, Turbo Reviews has more of a slick presentation factor that I just really enjoy. So um, be sure to check it out. Uh, YouTube channel by the 1A or at www.turboviews.com. The manual does a good job laying out the various areas and discussing ways to achieve scores. See you next time. But it doesn't really